Hello and welcome to the first video in my series covering how to make Discord bots with JavaScript. In this video we'll be going over just some of the basics on how to get your bot created, how to get it authenticated to the server, and then just do some basic messaging stuff. Uh, but in future videos we're going to be doing more advanced topics, uh, like you can see from here. We'll do how to prefix commands, how to take arguments for commands, uh, how to make word filters, uh, and some other stuff as well, like sound effects and that sort of thing. And also, if anybody has any specific requests for a bot they'd like, you can also uh, ask in the comments below, and I can do a tutorial on that as well. So, just to do a quick demo, you can see the bot is online here. Uh, so we can, then we can do stuff like, with our prefix, we can do ego, if we want an ego boost. Uh, and you can see the bot will automatically come in and give you a reaction, so you have an ego boost command. We also have a word filter, so if we type in a word in our list, we can see it automatically comes in and deletes our message and gives us a warning that we're in a Christian server and we don't want any words like YOLO used in our server. So uh, that's an example we can make basically a moderation bot, stuff like that. So first thing we're going to want to do is go to this URL that I have in the video description and we're going to make our application. So first thing we're going to do is click on this and then create a unique name. So we're just going to do tutorial bot 2 and we'll create that. And then from here, once we have our new application, we got to go into our bot and just click add a bot. So create that and then what we have to do next is go to OAuth2 and you have to authenticate. So go right here and add a redirect. So all this needs to be is a local URL because we don't need to do anything with it. So we're just going to do http dot slash slash local host. I'm going to click save changes. And then down here, we're going to select that URL and then we're going to select bot. And then all you have to do is click this URL, uh, and we need to give it permissions as well. So then once we have that, we can just open this in a new tab, and it'll basically give us this pop-up where we can authenticate. So you want to select the server, this is the one I've made, and then authorize it. And generally it'll give you this verify that you're not a robot, and just go through this process and verify and if everything went well now we can see in this chat we can see the second bot popped up so our thing is properly authenticated now all we have to do is write the code so for uh, environments we need basically something that can run JavaScript so uh, if you're a programmer and you already have Node.js installed in a text editor, you can work with that and follow along. If you're not a programmer or you just haven't uh, installed this stuff and you want to get started as easily as possible, you can click this link in the description. And what this is, is Code Sandbox allows you to basically set up, uh, you don't have to do anything, and allows you to run this code right in your browser. So it makes it really easy. So what we're going to do now is basically we're going to we go into where our bot is we can close out of this and now we need to go back to our bot and we need to grab our token and this is what's going to allow us in our code to log in and from there we're just going to do a basic uh, check with a text command and then in future videos we'll do those more advanced bots so you can just clear out all this text right here and go to add dependency and we're going to use a library called discord js and this will make it really easy even if you don't know how to code it really makes it so simple it's almost like reading so you can basically uh, it doesn't take a lot of programming skills to work with this library so i let this stuff all load and now what we want to do is import our Discord library, so we're going to create a variable and we're going to require discord.js and then we're 
going to create our bot. So const bot equals new discord client. And then once we have that created, what we have to do is log in with our token. So we're gonna, this is what we got from back here, this little token right here, copy that, and then create a string, so parentheses, and then below that, we can use that to log in. So we're gonna do bot.login, and we're just gonna use that token there. And now to verify that that's all working, what we're gonna do is bot.on ready, and then we're gonna create a function. And inside this, we're just gonna do console.log bot is working, whoops. And so if everything's working properly, when we do that, and we can see we get bot is working. So what this means is basically, uh, this just automatically runs when the bot starts, but right now we don't have anything programmed to do actually any command. So no matter what we do in here, nothing's gonna happen because this bot, it's only, the only thing it knows how to do is when it starts up, it just says bot is working. But what we can see is that this thing is now green, it's online and it's waiting. So uh, what we're gonna do next is just the simplest little text command. And then from there, uh, I'm gonna wrap this tutorial up. So to make a text command, we're gonna do bot.on again. But instead of doing ready, we're going to do message. And this is basically what this does is it listens for, uh, these are events, so it listens for whenever a message goes into the chat, you can then write a function that responds depending on various conditions. So we're gonna do message. And then for that, uh, we're gonna do if msg message dot content equals hello. We're going to do message dot reply hello. So this is basically about the simplest thing you can do, but we're going to save that. And now we're going to go into our chat and we're just going to do hello. And we can see immediately this bot responds. So really, in a nutshell, that's it might seem really simple what we just did, but this is the framework of basically every single Discord bot that we're going to make. You, an event happens and we respond to that. And we just basically, instead of doing a simple message at reply, we could pull in a file and post a picture, which is what I did right here. Uh, you can do all sorts of stuff, play a sound effect, that sort of thing. So uh, for this first tutorial, though, I just wanted to do the basics. And like I said earlier, if you have any specific requests for bots, you can uh, do. You can make a comment below, and I'll make sure to work on those. Uh, one other thing is if you want to save these results if you want to be able to come back to this thing back to this file uh, make sure you make a sandbox account and then you can fork this main uh, node sandbox that I linked to in the description and then you can rename it whatever you want and you can work with it that way but like I said for this first video I just wanted to cover the very basics of getting started so uh, if you're interested in those future videos be sure to subscribe and hit like if this helped you out, but for now, that's it. Thanks.